Hello everyone, Ziggler here. Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So the, today I was like fooling around a little bit on my second account. And uh, like on my Warlock because uh, I just wanted to see some of the changes with the like all the changes with everything where some of the runes has been moved and everything. So I I came, I was like, hmm. But we, we got the Grispy. Um in ratchet now that we we don't actually need to do the like dark iron ordnance farm or anything of that because you can actually go up to to grisby in ratchet in the inn and actually buy the runes for your class and this is kind of game changing in a sense for some classes well I mean, the rune is good for every, every class, but some classes, if you can get this on level 1, it's it's insane. And it's a huge advantage if you're if you're going to play a, uh, a orc, because you can actually, like, let's say that you have a friend there, and that is going to borrow you, like, 3 gold, because it's it, the rune is costing 3 gold. So, you can just, this is the starting zone, and... If you run over here, where you usually like kill the boars and everything, you can go up this path. Wait. This path here, called the hidden path. And you can actually exit the the starter zone and go right you see here is ratchet. And from this this point forward, it's uh, you are in the barrens. So you will die here because of the these ones, but you you want to die anyway because it will be faster. And you will respawn in Ratchet. And let me, then you just run to the inn, which is over here. Here. <clears throat> and then inside here, you will find Grisby. You, you could still do the quests uh, later on, but here you can see. See? Okay, let me do like this, and w I'm actually in the game right now. So, with all of these ones, I I'm gonna do one more thing here. Um, there we go. There we go. And. I mean, the, it, it's kind of insane that we can actually go over here and buy the runes. For example, the warrior is the warbringer. And, I mean, who doesn't want to have... Like, we learned charge on level 6. And it's kind of insane to have, like, you can charge in combat at that low level. It, it, and and with, all the, with everything, and you will have the, the uh, victory rush from start from the get-go it's it's just mental but let's just go over through what kind like what they actually do because some of them is insane <laughs> if you can get them on level one so uh, let me do like this and let me move myself over there there we go and let me actually open the page and we go like this there we go. So from this vendor, let's go over all the runes that you can buy for. Uh, it's it's gonna cost three gold to get your rune for your class. But let's go over them. I'm I most of you probably already know them. But if you're planning to level, try to to have someone borrow or uh, borrow you like three gold or send it to your own alt or whatever. And just do this because it's gonna <laughs> increase the speed quite significantly. I mean, not everyone is is that great, but they will help you. Um. So the here we got the epiphany for uh, priests, which is nice. I mean, it's increasing the flash heal. I and I'm not sure if uh, like flash heal is the, like the first heal that we learn, but anyway, that's the one. And then you got sacrifice for paladins, which is me. Eh. Uh, like it's it's nice if you're gonna do a level uh, uh, if you if you like get a summon you can buy like there's a lot of summoners 
that like, you can actually like buy a, if you're an alliance for example you can buy a summon to booty bay get the boat over to ratchet and then you're here so it's quite fast um then you got the rewind i mean if i'm not mistaken the the like rege regeneration spell for mages we learn that pretty quickly i think it's very early that you learn it and this is the one that i've been like I I thinking that it's kind of <laughs> kind of yeah i mean you deal 35 percent increased damage from all attacks while you do not have an active pet so if you gonna level a hunter you are already pretty pretty strong like sure you don't have the actual pet at from level 1 to 10 but with like 35 percent that is huge like to start with like <laughs> it's like i kind of want to try it just to see like what the damage actually is but like, then you got this one. So, I mean, as a druid, reduces the chance you'll uh, be critical hit by melee attacks by 6%. And reduces all damage taken by 10%. At the start, you like from level 1 to 10, as a druid, you will cast Wrath. And with this, you can't be crit because... Uh, like you got the wrath uh, ability uh, as the first one you can just spam wrath for free and like with this you're not gonna be a critical hit from anything and you will take 10% less damage and from then one point like from that point forward on level 10 if you want to level as a beer you can uh, you will have the uh, damage taken reduced by an additional 10% like already from the get go, but this one is is very interesting as well. Your charge intercept and intervene. Like sure, intercept and intervene. We cannot learn that yet as a warrior. But on level six, you will have charge. So your charge ability, uh, uh, your charge ability, uh, well, it's now available in combat and in any stance, and will remove. Uh, in uh, movement impairing effects when activated so you will have charge on cooldown which is very nice um i mean from my like from my when i did level myself uh, my warrior my undead warrior i had victory rush like up all the freaking time and it, it was so strong and on that warrior i also had i don't know know if it's around anymore but i had like the enraged one but i mean if, if we can charge whenever it's on cooldown because like i said i'm pretty sure that i killed fast enough for the cooldown not to be done when i was going to the next one and like yeah, I, well, okay, that doesn't really matter. I, that that was a <laughs> screw up for me. But I mean, it, it's just nice to have. And then on uh, as a warlock, your pet uh, pet's critical strike applies the demonic pact effect to your party and raid members for ten uh, forty five seconds. Sure, your I'm pretty sure that the imp is critting quite a lot at the start. I'm I might be mistaken. So, I mean, that's one just nice. And I think... Do rogues learn dual wield on level 10 or 20? I don't, I don't really remember. I think it's 10. But I mean, if you, if you learn this one on level 10 from get-go, you will have this. Which is just nice. And then with shamans also like you will have like you're you're gonna hit with everything when you're gonna like be dual wielding as a shaman uh on the horde side and i'm very certain that you will learn the flame tongue or whatever like so you can actually dual wield on like level 10 or something in thunder bluff i'm pretty sure it's it's uh quite long chain i i if i recall it 
But yeah, it, it's just super interesting. In my opinion, like if you want to level something and get this this like rune for well not free but you can get it quite easily on level one already and yeah i just wanted to highlight this um i haven't seen anyone talked about this uh, i might there might obviously there has been but yeah I, I thought i just wanted to share this idea um it's not game changing uh well like game breaking or anything it's just nice and i mean the lone wolf. Damn. <laughs> I mean, with all... Like, you have to... Like, on themselves, some of these runes don't look that strong. But you have to keep in mind that some of the uh, classes learn other runes quite early. Well, you can get them quite early. That is going to help this a lot. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this. Um, if you knew about this, uh, comment down below. Um, if you already did know this, that's awesome. And, yeah, if you felt like this is helping you, yeah, just click click the like button if you, if you felt like this is helping you. And consider subscribing if you felt like this is helping you. I wonder how many times I actually said I, <laughs> I said that. But, yeah, um, uh, click on... Let me do like this. Oh. Click on this video and I'll greet you over there with a bork bork. And I'll see you over there. Bye bye.